Right guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my Euro 2024 predictions. Now, since I go home from work today, I must, I must have seen about four fucking videos on my recommended about people predicting the Euros. And you, you know what? I'm going to do mine now as well because I'm going to end up forgetting. Let's be real. So, um, I'm actually using a fucking telegraph predictor, which I'll actually I'll clip now. Actually, just give me a sec. So yeah, I've currently got the... Um, the Telegraph predictor, because um, I checked UEFA, I could not find one on UEFA's website, like, they had a match predictor, but I couldn't find an actual group stage predictor, like, like, like and it's the same thing, I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't really look too much into it, um, but yeah, I'm just going to use this, it's, I think it's just going to be a lot, a lot easier, um, this is barely, bit, merely based on the squad that everyone's put together, and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not taking any friendlies or anything into consideration, because if I did, then Scotland would definitely be fucking rock bottom, Let's be honest. Um, and um, yeah, England. I think I think we'll just kick it off against Bosnia. I mean, I've, I haven't got it on because fucking England friendlies are shite. So, without any further ado, let's get in this. So, Group A. Germany, host nation. I think I think I think they, I think they are going to win. The, they should they should win. That, that's a kind group that them um, Germany been given. So they, they should win the group. A daily second place. Honestly, Scotland. They had an amazing qualifier. I'm looking, I'm liking to look at the squad at the minute. The, I, th I think they'll scrape second place. Third, I'm gonna give it to Switzerland. I mean, do you fair? Like, like I know, I'm, like, do you fair? I think like literally nobody ever rates Switzerland, but they always you know, do well. well. I said do well. They always make the knockouts in every tournament. Like, I'm trying to remember the last time they didn't. Like, they, they literally fucking do. They do it every time. It's it's crazy. So, Group A: Germany wins. Scotland second. Switzerland third. Hungary rock bottom. Group B, Spain, to be fair, I'm liking the look of Spain at the minute, to be fair. Um, I mean, this, this, I, I don't know if it's just my lack of knowledge, but the Spain squad didn't look that amazing. Um, so, who knows. Um, second, Tom, it's obviously, it's obviously going to be between Croatia and Italy. Honestly, I'm back in Croatia, I guess, second, you know. I think Croatia might do. I mean, to be fair, Italy, obviously, the, hold, the holders, believe it or not, it's way to think about that run Italy had at the Euros last time out, actually, the sort of subjects for us, but, um, yeah, because I literally, other than that, they've done absolutely fucking, they've done, they've done fuck all for the last eight years, like, like they, 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 that literally, that, that one Euro run is the best, only thing they've done in the last eight years, it's crazy, the like, two World Cups in a row to fill to qualify for, which is mad, but to do fair, Croatia, a, a, another really good run at the World Cup. Um, the squad, I mean, the squad, yeah, it's getting on a little bit, I suppose. So there's every chance they could, could finish third. But I mean, to be fair, like that, I think, I think it is, it is going to be that Croatia league game which really decides who goes second place. Group C, England's going to, to be fair. We, we should, we should, we should make it. We should be winning this group. I'll be brutally honest. I mean, to be fair, it's, it, it, it's an easy one. Also, also how, 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 how's Denmark? How, how come, right? So how come. These all got stars, but we, we, how come we haven't got any stars? What the fuck? Screw you, telegraphy, little fucking Tory nonsense. <laughs> um, uh, yes, again, we, sh we, sh we should be winning this group. I can see it's on issues against Denmark, but Serbia and Slovenia should be six points, really. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we drop points against Denmark, but yeah, we should be first. But anyway, Denmark. I mean, to be fair, Serbia are not a bad team at all, let's be honest. I think, again, they could push Denmark. Denmark should get second, to be honest. Uh, group D. Wow, this is a tough. Is this, is this a group of death? I could say. Wow, this is a tough group. I think France will win it. Should win it. Second place should be the Netherlands, but I, 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 I just don't know. You know, I don't know. Should be them. But it wouldn't surprise me if Austria or Poland put a shock. That's really because Poland are fucking shit when it comes to tournaments. Like, they never do well. And same with Austria. Which is why make me think. I'm, which is why make me think that Netherlands might sneak through the second place. I mean, I'm saying, that, I'm saying the second place might sneak through. It might be as easy as 9 6 3 0. It might be as straightforward as that. But, yeah, it's just, it's just the fact that Poland and Austria just don't do well at tournaments. Is what's making me put Netherlands second. Group B, I mean, to be fair, Puck and Belgium have been blessed with their group. I mean, to be fair, if you think us and fucking, if you think, if you think us and Germany have been good, getting good groups, fucking Belgium 
My word. Second place. It's gonna be, ooh, you, you create us a fuck yeah. It's gonna be Ukraine, isn't it, really? I, I, I don't know why I even thought about it. I think it is gonna be Ukraine get second place. But fucking Belgium have got done any stars either. How come some Belgium have got done any stars but fucking Italy and Denmark do? And the Netherlands do. Fuck. I don't know. Group of, I mean, even, yeah, fuck, actually, to be fair, I take everything back. Portugal. Jesus Christ. You could not have asked for an easier group. Honest to God, you couldn't have done. Turkey, to be fair, it's, it's I think it's open season between these three. To be fair, I think Georgia, obviously, I think, is, is it the first ever tournament? Or the first one in a long time, anyway? I, I, I want to say that, I want to say that, that they're going to pull off a shock. I just don't see it. Czech Republic probably get third. Mm, what should we do? Do we swap these around? Do we go ballsy and put Georgia third, Czech Republic fourth? Do you, just be different. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna put Georgia third. Why not? Uh, but again, it's it's, it's, open, literally it's open season for second place. But I think Turkey might just do it. Obviously, I know that obviously that fucking last Euros, everyone talked dark horse with Turkey and they fucking stunk up the gaff. So it might end up fucking up. But they should get a second place. But Portugal, fuck me, that's an easy. Oh, to be fair. Fucking France and fucking Spain have got some tough groups there. Germany, us, us and Germany have got eh, midway group, but fucking Belgium have gone. These are bought. Portugal, they couldn't have asked for an easy. Honestly, I can't see Portugal winning all three games. They should win all three games. That's an easy group. In the third place rankings, it, uh, Italy, Switzerland, and who else? It's between Serbia and. Well, I'll go Poland. Serbia, Slovakia, Georgia, I think, yeah. Yeah, it's about right. Alright, round 16, here we go. Germany against Denmark, Germany win, should be, you'd think. Scotland, Croatia, that'll, that'll be a good game, you know. Croatia, I think, will just edge up one. Spain, Switzerland, Spain. England, Poland, Vizier, Liam Vizier, he's going to be torn with but should do well. Portugal, it's Serbia, Netherlands, Ukraine, Netherlands. Belgium, Italy, that, 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 that could be an interesting game, you know. It really could. Either, either Belgium, to be fair, Belgium have been given a good group, but then their last 16 ties fucking could be either one of Croatia, Spain, or Italy, so. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, do back Italy? Nah, has to be Belgium. Oh, I, I don't know. Mm, I think my, mm, Belgium should win in the front. I think France will beat um, Turkey. So the quarter finals, Germany versus Spain, that'll be a fucking brilliant game. Host nations against one of the favourites. I think Spain are like what I think Spain are like fair I think Portugal are more like I think Portugal have got better rods than the Spain do. I think I can see Germany don't I can see Germany having a pretty good tournament. Portugal Netherlands. Edge in Portugal. I'm edging Portugal, you know. I mean, to be fair, I'm, I'm, I'm edging Portugal, but again, they're another team who look promising for a tournament and fucking end up doing completely shit, so I, I don't know. But I'm gonna back them to beat the Netherlands, I think. Yeah. Belgium, France, France, win, England, Croatia. To be fair, if we get Croatia in the quarterfinals, it could be tasty. Am, am I being biased? I don't, I don't know. Might be. The semi-finals, oh boy, oh, you're some corkers here, you fucker. Right, Germany, Portugal. I think Portugal will push Germany all the way here. I, I, I think this, 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 this game goes to penalties, I think. Germany to go through on penalties. And then France in the semi-finals. Are we going to get payback for the World Cup? I don't, I don't know, you know. I don't know. Because, because it will be our first actual test. If you think about it, cause, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but Denmark, Serbia, and Slovenia, we play, we play these types of teams, and during qualifiers, Poland should beat them. Croatia might be tough, but I think, I think now we're good enough to see it through. But France is our first proper big test, and I don't want to see us beating France. You know, I really don't. Because I mean, to be fair, to be fair, it's a shame. Because I think obviously, obviously, the way the, the way it matches up, obviously, it means that we're obviously we're, we're, we can be, we probably are going to meet France in, in, in semi-finals. But really, I think this should be the final because because we are the two favourites of the tournament. But 
only one of us is actually going to make the final. It, well, at all. Obviously, obviously, that's bearing any shock results. I don't, I, I'm going to say Fran. I don't see us beating Fran, you know. I really don't. I, 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 don't, I don't know what the... But I, I, I think, you know what? I think we'll take the lead. I think Fran will come back to win like 2-1. Or something like that. Then the final, Germany versus France. This will be a fucking corker. This is the case, but... Oh my god, who the fuck wins this? Obviously, France obviously lost the last World Cup final. Oh my god, who wins this? Right, am I really back in Germany? Am I, am I really back in Germany all the way here? I'm, I'm liking the bit. Germany lose on who? Edging towards France, you know. I don't know, I don't know why I can just just. Because I think Germany is similar to us, where they've got the, they've, they've got a core which has been there for a couple of tournaments now, but they've also got this young, this this young talent coming through who are already pushing the team, which I think it's it's in. It's very similar to us. Whereas France, you know, the France they've got winners, you know, they obviously won the World Cup. Last year was the fucking did I think that what was it what last last sixteen last sixteen next I think against Switzerland, and then. Obviously, again, it made it to never World Cup final. I'm going to back France. There we go, guys. I think France are going to be the winners of the Euros. Obviously, I would have loved to have backed England, but... I just don't see us beating France right now. I mean, obviously, I hope, I hope I'm wrong. But right now... I'm back in France to win the tournament, and to be fair, 24% of people agree with me. I'm guessing a lot of people have chosen Germany and England. I'm, gu I'm guessing any other two big favourites. I, th I think us, us, France and Germany are the big favourites. And Portugal, I think, just about edge fourth. So, uh, yeah. So, guys, also my Euros predictions. Obviously, it's just a fun little video. Obviously, yeah, it's, 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 it's not like my usual predictions where I go fully in depth with what my thoughts are. It's just a little fun thing. Um, Yeah, I think... I'm, I'm happy. I, I, I think France probably, France probably are going to win um, the tournament but again. Who knows? Who knows? I think there's always a, there's always a surprise in every tournament. So um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some sort of dark horse. In, in terms of my dark horse, so I don't I don't really have one for this tournament to be honest with you because I don't. So I, I don't know. I can see it being a very straightforward tournament this time round, which, which I know that I'm going to immediately end up being proven wrong. But I just don't, I just don't see it being in either way. I don't, I don't really see any major upsets. Like maybe Croatia finishing above Italy in Group B's maybe could be considered an upset, but um, yeah, I don't really see any upsets happening to be honest with you in this uh, this, this tournament. But we shall see. Got um, all right, around 11 days before the tournament starts, which so cannot wait for that. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.